So let's do an update. <laughs> uh, getting going on the fish tank. Tomorrow I'll have this tank out of here, the frag flood tray out of here. And right now I got all that Pukani rock that I got done curing for three months. In here, my, my goal is to uh, keep it live, um, either keep it or sell it, I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet because now that I got this all torn down, I'm almost thinking of keeping the tank now. I was trying to sell all this stuff real, real cheap, like everything, retardedly cheap, and nobody hit on it. So uh, now I'm breaking it down, I'm going to move it into the garage, and that's what I wanted to avoid. Uh, because I wanted to have this all broken down and out of here by the time our house was getting shown um, But unfortunately the day has already come where the house is being shown and We've already gotten an offer on the house and we're getting ready to go into contract So I mean it doesn't even matter how fast I try to get this out of here now because now we're just moving So I might try to keep the rock and then set this tank up when we get to the new house I haven't 100% decided yet, but this is where we're at with the breakdown process. You can see the fish room is uh, vacant. Um, I had to do like a sleight of hand thing here. I gotta still take out my water uh, container things. So I just put a shower curtain up for the showing of the house, but people still saw it. I mean, you can't hide it, but it is what it is. So here's the fish room. Let me grab my snack of champions. And this, yep, it's looking a little bare. Uh, sold a lot of the SPS colonies, and I still got more to go. Um, I'm thinking of selling all the rest of these corals and the live rock um, for like $300. Somebody wants the anemone, and I can't find anybody that wants this giant toadstool, so that might be going to my LFS, and I'll just get store credit for it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, then the clownfish are next, and it'll be draining this tank and moving this one as well. So, uh, yeah. Just working. Got to get it all done. And uh, here's the uh, the new tank all set up. I'm sure the, uh, the lighting isn't going to let you see anything. I put my uh, platinum, or whatever clownfish they are, the ones that were in the fish room, those, those uh, fancy premium clowns, or whatever they call them. But uh, I got pretty much all the coral in here already that I want to keep, and I got a couple more in here acclimating still, which reminds me. Do another batch. Um, so you can see I'm running the uh, Ecotech Radeon. Uh, this is a Gen 2 Pro. And I bought the uh, RMS mount just to make it clean because uh, I put an acrylic cover over this and was just sitting light on top of it. But um, one, the light coverage was not good at all. And two, having the acrylic cover over this tank made it so hot. So I love this tank. I, I should do a review on this tank, but I love this tank. It's beautiful. I've never had a tank with this, uh, this um, low iron glass. And I like the idea of you know the filtration and everything in the back. But one thing I do not like is the pump that comes with this tank, that the return pump. Um, it is hot. It runs very, very hot, and that adds a ton of heat to this tank. So you put a cover over it, and that big old pump back there, it's, it, it heats this tank up really quick. Uh, you can see I got the uh, MP10 rolling on here, and then on the other side I got the WP, no, RW8. Um, yeah, I hope the camera's doing this some sort of justice, but I doubt it is at all. Let me see. Right now I'm just running it on this. I uh, have it set to a program on the computer, but uh, I have overridden it because I want to see the coral. There. Hang in there. Let's see if it'll turn on now. So annoying. I'm gonna try to get to a profile where we can actually see the tank. And... There we go. I'm sure the camera can pick that up. Obviously, I got a, a ton of water spots on here. I've been in and out of this tank for the past 
four hours. I'm about sick of uh, moving corals and all that stuff, but uh, it's got to get done and it's almost done. I just have this batch to throw in there and there's one more coral I got to pull out of the tank. And then uh, that's all. This is all I'm going to keep. Um, I could not bring myself to get rid of that big millipora, so I'm keeping that and I fragged a good chunk of my green slimer. And uh, we'll see where this all goes. Again, I kept all my chalices because these were hard chalices to find. They were expensive and they're unique colored to me. So, And I kept one mushroom, one rainbow Yuma Recordia. I did find a light profile on here I really enjoy looking at the tank with. I don't know. Anyway, so uh, I'm digging this tank. I really am. I'm gonna keep this tank. Um, I'm thinking when we get to the new house, if I do set up a bigger tank, the bigger tank will be the SPS dominated tank. And I'd really like to use this tank to set up something like a all Zoa tank, Zoa Pally tank. So um, that's what's going on, guys. Sorry I messed with the, the the light a little bit too long. It kind of dragged this video on, but uh, that's what's going on. This one's almost done getting set up for now. And um, hopefully by the end of the weekend I'll have this tank out of here, but tomorrow for sure the fish room will be cleared out. Um, and then hopefully by the end of Sunday night this will be cleared out as well. And uh, I can just snap some pictures and have somebody come buy it. So uh, if you're in Arizona and you want to buy this setup right here, $400. Comes with the sump, the return pump, um, the ASM G3 skimmer the RW15s, the ATI light, I mean everything you see right here, 400 bucks, except for the coral. So, uh, well, DJ Power Strip. So, alright guys, we'll see you in the next one.